<laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Sports Gambling Daily for a Thursday. It is May 30th. Thank you so much for spending a couple minutes of your day here with me. If you're new to the show, my name is Jared, and pretty much what we try to do here is post daily sports betting content where I give you my plays, my breakdowns from my sports betting systems. Now, what those systems are designed to do is find matchups that we can exploit for profitability. If that sounds like something you're interested in, consider hitting that red subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and also click the bell notification. All right, let's talk a little bit about yesterday. It was not a good day for me and the program. I went 0-3 on my plays. Uh, yeah, so the Mets under got blown out. No chance there. Uh, Arizona, which was an additional play, they lost to the Rockies. I don't know what it's going to take for Arizona to actually get over the hump and beat the Rockies, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. And, um, yeah, so, and then, uh, the other, oh yeah, (laughs) at least we didn't have to sweat any games out because, you know, the Padres, they got their asses literally handed to them. Chris Paddock, or Chris Paddock got destroyed versus the Yankees. You know, that beginning of the game, he gave up two solo back-to-back shots, uh, pretty bad, but you know, it happens. That's, that's sports betting, that's sports gambling, um, not all days are going to be, uh, you know, lollipops and 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 sunshine. So it's all good, and that's why we also that's why we also practice and preach a hundred unit bankroll, so you can go through the bad days and not hesitate to make a play going forward. All right, let me uh, let me let you guys know about <clears throat> a, a podcast that I listen to on a daily. Uh, these are a great group of guys. They're also friends of the show. You have Arch Stanton, you got Max, and you have Panther. Now, they they run a podcast called Absolute Sports Betting Degeneracy. And this is what it looks like. They're on iTunes and a bunch of other platforms. Go check them out. They are a lot of, fu- a lot of fun to listen to. They're very entertaining. They're very knowledgeable. All of them know about sports, even Max. Um, because <laughs> I mean, Max is probably on suicide watch right now after that Mets game. He is a big Mets fan. And, um, man, I, I don't even want to talk trash right now. I feel so bad for you. That, that walk off yesterday was awful. So, uh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Max. Anyway. Um, yeah, go check him out. You will definitely enjoy that program. All right, let's see here. Let's look at my season results. 197 for the win column, 192 for the L column. 1397 on the year. Hey, it's not where we want to be, but you know, but it's where we're at. So, we're going to continue to keep moving forward and we're going to continue to pump out some more value picks. Today's no different. All right, hey, come check out the uh the Discord real quick. I will bring up the Discord. This is what it looks like. Group of almost 800 people now. Uh, you're missing out if you don't join the Discord. It's a group of like-minded individuals such as yourself. Do not miss the opportunity to be part of a great group of people. How do you get in? Come over here to Instagram and uh, send me a message and we will have a very small conversation. I'll try to sway you to become an Astros fan and then uh, we'll get you in. Then I'll send you the link. All right, so hey, let's get into the first day. The first, uh, actually, I only have one play for you guys right now. It's a short card. It's a small card. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right on in. We got the Twins versus the Rays. Now, at the beginning of the year, who would have thought that this game would have been the game that everybody's looking forward to? Twins versus Rays. It's going to be a really good game. You got two really good pitchers here in Martin Perez. And Charlie, Uncle Charlie Morton, the former Stro. Now, this awesome game, first pitch is at 710 Eastern Time, Tropicana Field in Florida. So that probably means about, you know, since both of these teams are, you know, really good and this game is being played in Tampa, that means there'll probably be about 5,000 people in the stadium. So uh, there's that. So anyway, Martin Perez, 7-1. He's a lefty. 
he is what a resurgent year he's having. Um, but hey, last last time out, he walked four, allowed six hits, but he did strand eight runners as he held the Angels to two runs in five innings in his last start. Um, yeah, those two runs were solo shots, I remember, because I had the over in that game, and that was the game that the Angels, I think that, not the Angels, uh, well, the Angels ended up scoring seven in that game. The Twins, I think, scored like 18. It was insane. Over, like, covered after, like, the fourth inning. Anyway, he, uh, make sure I got this right. Yep. So, he has completed five innings in each of his last eight starts, allowing three or fewer runs in all games except for one. Now, Uncle Charlie Morton, he holds an impressive 2.54 ERA this season. Morton is looking to continue to cut down his walks against Minnesota. Now, uh, Charlie Morton, he's allowed two or more walks in his past uh, in his past nine of his 11 starts this year. So, and I think that's really where this game's going to boil down to is if because both these teams are good. If they can work the work the the walks and you know, then obviously follow that with hits. You're going to be looking at an over. I think what happens here is the general public looks at these two pitchers. You look at seven and one versus five and zero. Oh. You look at sub e uh, sub sub three ERAs, and you look at the strikeout totals, and you're thinking, well, shit, that has to be uh, has to be a low scoring game. You got two good teams. But typically, in my experience, the quite the opposite happens is because both these teams have elite hitters. Uh, they, they end up getting to the bullpen sooner than you would think because these, these pitch counts are going to skyrocket. Um, at least typically that's how it works in my experience. So I think that the public is all over the under. And actually, I have some uh, supporting data to support that. But hey, let's look at the trends here. Um well, I forgot to change the, the logos here. So let me just move that out of the way. Milling it in today. All right. Um, over is 4-1 and one in the Twins' last five road games. And I put the Padres. Let me just. Sorry, guys. Let me mess. I forgot to even delete that one. Let's see here. Sorry, obviously the Padres and Paddock is not playing today. We don't need to be remembered, uh, reminded of that. All right, now we're back, and next time I guess I'll have to proofread. All right, over is four and one in the Twins' last five road games. Over is five and one in the Tampa Bay Rays' last six home games versus a team with a road winning percentage of greater than six hundred. And the over is 14 and 2 in the last 16 meetings at Tropicana Field. So, I like the over here. Twins versus Tampa Bay. The line opened up at 8, or at least was currently at 8, just a little, or 8 and a half a little bit ago, and has been bet down to 8. Now, this game doesn't, uh, the first pitch isn't until 740, I think it was, Eastern Time. So we have some time to even look at this some more. I can totally see the public jumping on the under here. So just keep your eye on it. If anything, you might be able to get a little bit better juice than minus 110. If we're really lucky, it'll go down to 7.5, but you're going to have to pay some major juice for that. So I would think if I could find this line at minus 105, I think I would go ahead and jump on that. Um, I know some of you guys like to live bet. So this is another situation where, you know, you might just wait and you know w- watch this game. Maybe there there won't be any runs in the first uh, the first inning, and that line drops. You know, pound that over. I really feel like this one's going over. Over eight is the total, and that is where I'm at now. I do have some leans. I'll go ahead and tell you the leans. Um, I really like Arizona today, but I don't want to go against that Rockies winning streak. Um, but I do have a feeling Arizona is not going to get swept, but I don't, I don't have a good enough feeling to where I'm going to bet it. So take that for what it's worth. I also lean Minnesota to win that game versus Tampa Bay, but, um, not a strong lean. It's just, a I see some, uh, 
I see some things going that way. I also lean uh, with the White Sox over Cleveland. The White Sox are uh, on a three-game winning streak. You got uh, Carrasco. He hasn't been pitching as well. Now, Carrasco did uh, has pitched against the White Sox twice this year and hasn't given up a run, so there's that. But the White Sox bats are are pretty uh, pretty hot right now. And, um, yeah, I also, so this whole thing with the Mets-Dodgers, it's so, it's so hard. The Mets have actually played the Dodgers fairly well, except for that first game where it was DeGrom versus Kershaw. Um, you know, obviously they won uh, the game where Matt's pitched, and then they should have won yesterday, but they didn't. So, I mean, could have, should have, would have, right? However, uh, the Met, what I'm trying to say is the Mets are – they're playing – one of the best teams in baseball, if not the best team in the National League, like toe to toe almost all the time, and they're getting so much value on the money line that it's hard to pass up that value. So that might be a play for me later. I know that's a late game. Um, so let's see. Yeah, and I think that's it. I don't see much value in uh, the Boston Yankees series. Even J. A. Hat. It's hard for me to put any money with that guy. And then um, Philly versus St. Louis. I probably would lean Philly there. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. I don't think I got any other lean. So, hey, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Come join the Discord. Um, let's see here. Oh, and if I have any additional plays, I'll post them in the YouTube comments down below or I'll also post them in the Discord. If you have any questions for me, obviously leave me a comment or you can come find me on the Discord. And also let me know who you are betting today. I am definitely interested. And good luck to you. Good luck to me. Good luck to all of us. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on a Friday's Sports Gambling Edition show. Peace.